hello guys welcome to this channel uh, this video is regarding the issue that we are facing when we open this config file so i just click on open with safe exam browser then it is showing some sort of thing like you it's asking for password so we don't have the password so i'll be saying how to fix this error just click on cancel and uh, here just click on start button and here you can see see the scb config tool so if you are unable to see that here i have a solution for you so let me show you that one so just click on this pc and uh, go to c drive and in the c drive just go to program files into 86 then you can see this folder named safe exam browser and here is the file scb config tool just click on that so it will prompt another window asking an administrative password just click on cancel and now here just go on to the taskbar where you can see a new window coming up you just have to open that from the taskbar and now right here just go into the config file option once you click on that uh, this particular software is a bit slow so you click on default settings and click on save settings yeah it takes some time just be patient until that blue color fades out yeah guys bear me with this screen because like i was unable to record the screen with the screen recording software i had to use a phone like it's showing some sort of magic on the screen like never mind that the problem will be solved just click on save settings and once it's done wait for some one minute like that and just close this file so now again we'll go back to the config file given by the srm university in step number five just see my previous video how to download if you haven't seen that and now click on open with the save exam browser and now here the problem is so you will get this prompt if any of the software is running in the background like here you can see discord is running in the background i use it yeah you can join our discord server i'll, I'll keep the link in the description we'll be solving problems instantaneously there you can just chat if you're having any other problems so once it's done once you click on yes and here you should not click on yes this is the thing you just have to wait until the background completely loads so here my background is completely loaded you can see it once it's loaded fully see it wait until then and then click on no so here now you are successful exam username and password are given on your hall ticket and you can see that on the admin portal so after login and once you want to exit the software previously for the mock test it was some password but it's not that now as soon as the exam end you will be getting a password uh, when you just click on submit that password will work so i'll use the mock test password it's not working now so as of now you just force restart your pc and then make sure you restart that once more so that all the processes will be restarted enter the quick password then i as i said the previous password was not working uh, they will be giving a password as soon as you submit the exam that password will be correct so just don't mind this so the problem is solved so thanks for watching this video make sure you like this video and one more thing there were like three people who were uh, reporting about this problem and uh, because of them i was able to solve this problem thanks to them too so i think this video is informative if you are having any other problem just let me know in the discord channel or you can just let me know in the comments too thanks for watching make sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of these updates regarding srmg exam because they are not sending any emails I will be helping you there are many other friends too so uh, the pc issue is solved now how to solve this in android scroll so here i'm in my android so just click on just click on app info and once you click on that just click on clear data so as soon as you clear the data just clear all the data 
here as and then once it's clear just close the app and then open the app again and now just click allow so now it doesn't ask for any password so thank